Okay, this is big. Holy shit. You can def angle. Oh my god. Dude, we have to test it. Let's see. Yes. Holy shit, that's so good. Man. Overview of the build that I am rocking right now. It is 150 because stats are not optimized. Normally, I would fit in 125. It's just that, like, it's 150 for the sake of the testing, yeah? It seems like this build actually is capable of beating turtles, at least for the sake of to stand your ground. The way how it works like, you have to swap to the two fingers heirloom for the sake of to have 21 faith so you can cast the dragon bolt. And now for the period of around two minutes, you basically make 100 weapons bounce off you. And then you can trade with people using Moonveil. It's pretty good shit. I like it a lot. I think it is actually a decent soft counter to, to shields. And if we're gonna learn how to do that angles consistently, it's gonna be only better. If magic fingerprint stops Moonveil, it hits for like nothing. Yeah, that's true. Even if your poke is negligible, it's still a poke of like 50. Regular fingerprint shield receives very decent damage. Can you time the weapon art to hit when they bounce? Yes. And further, furthermore, I have noticed that like a lot of people spamming this. And this is really not that great of the move in the actual consistent PvP. I would say like R1 is better. You see what's going on? He has no possibility to even like fucking get closer. Because like everything is so fast on the moon veil. I can actually just constantly apply the pressure and when they try to attack me, when I have Dragon Bolt on, on me, I simply just can punish the guy with uh, regular attacks. Well, against- <gasps> Oh, fingerprint. You see, it just works. When we are gonna be playing against, uh, let's say, better sort of players, I gotta have to position around, but this build literally allows me to face roll through the tanks. Yeah, Dragon Ball has the, has the bounce thing, that's why I'm using it. That's, that's the reason why I'm using the self buff. So. Yeah, you can time it. Uh, so, I'm dealing like 30 damage per, uh, per shield with the slash. It's still like, it's something, yeah? You can use a lot of the slashes. What is cool is that Moonveil is applying actually the uh, blood, uh, blood loss buildup. That's pretty fucking good. Let's go. This is this might be like the first like a semi-competitive setup for people that are playing around. Hi. my fighting is statistics essentially right now i want to find brain dead counter to the brain dead setup
Nice. The cool thing is that apparently when you are guys going with the running air to attack you pretty much expose your head so the l2 into r1 deals the headshot it actually gives me three additional hit which probably overall like deals more damage than r2 and it's like way faster yeah and easier to hit Oi. Well played. Nice. I was forcing too much. I supposed to leave when I when I had like a uh, lots of build up, yeah. Right right now like Foy actually kind of adapted and I have to to overcome it with like being more careful type of the player now. I cannot like force it that much anymore. But yeah, statistically like the build seems good. It's just that you have to play it properly as well. Yeah, Stink, I I think like avoiding the top tier stuff is just you, you make yourself a worse player essentially in my opinion adapting to meta is part of the play Oh, you took off the shield because you wanted to go with the running attack. I think I have noticed that like you guys can actually stagger me with the R2 running attack with the one hand. I wonder why. It's it's probably I'm not resetting poise correctly. I supposed to wait longer. Okay, this is big. Holy shit. You can def angle. Oh my god. Dude, we have to test it. I wonder if that like... Did you... Holy shit. That was the, the tangle or like you just like take off the, the, the thingy? Oh, dude. I wonder if that's up to the like network. That was accident. You say it was the tangle. Okay, if you're gonna learn how to do it consistently, it is actually big. You block the whole time. Okay, it is... If that might be done consistently, this is actually huge. This will counter the fingerprint? No, it is soft counter. It allows you to stand the chance against fingerprint. And statistically wise, if you're gonna play accordingly to the particular like uh, fight scheme, then you actually going to win. But yeah, like the turtle player still might play around and yeah, overall it's just like 
It's just the fact, like, fingerprint usually, like, gave absolute statistical, advanta uh, statistical advantage to you. And uh, now it's, like, more equal. Okay. Nice. Dude. It's me! Holy shit, you can actually rotate to the left side! Man! We have we have to try. Holy fuck. Okay, so let's see. Okay, too far. It might need other player movement to it, to be honest. Let's see. Yes! Holy shit, that's so good! Man!